Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is for the week ending 428 of 2019. This was a play on MAT, Mattel. This happened on the 26th, that was Friday, the last day of the week. This was based on a novice type of gap with an entry on a one minute sell setup play. This happened later in the, after, in the morning, oh, late in the morning, somewhere around 11 o'clock. Management simple reward to risk out the door 2.9 to one. Let's take a look at this play, but first of all, as always, I'd like to remind you of the free stuff this week. There's one big thing going on. I'm doing a special event this Wednesday right here at DTS, so if you're a member, you will get your invite automatically. If you're not a member, you need to go to the homepage and you'll see a little advertisement there for this event coming up. It's going to be a statistical trade review. I'm going to go through the last couple of weeks of day trades I had and analyze them on a statistical basis. It'll be a very interesting evening, a very informative evening. This to me is tied for the most important thing that you can do in your trading to make more money once you understand charts and know what you're doing, of course. Here is the trade on MAT. This is the daily chart, and that's how it looked that morning before the position was taken. The stock was going to gap up to right here. That put it on my list to watch for the day. That's what it looked like at the end of the day. That's quite a red bar, obviously. Here's a 15 minute chart to give you some perspective of what happened. You can see it was a very volatile stock early in the morning. Tried to go higher and that's actually what was the tip off. But right in here, you'll see is where the entry came. We'll zoom down and take a better look. But just to give you some perspective of how much that dropped, that actually was a 9% drop overall from that general area down to where it bottomed out at 1220-ish. That's what a lot of people look to make in a stock in an entire year. This did it in a couple of hours. Well, it did it in a single day. I got out in a couple of hours and that's why people like day trading because you get moves that can be as much as the stock moves in an entire year but you get it all in a single day sometimes when you find the right stocks I'm going to go all the way down to the one minute chart to show you the entry this is a shakeout type of entry and i was not really that interested in the stock earlier because it was kind of crazy while the bias on the stock is to go lower sometimes these can go higher so you got to let it play out a little bit and you can see off to the left, you'll see better on the five minute chart in just a minute, but there was a, several attempts for the stock to move higher, it failed. And at some point I decided around 1030 that I would take a shakeout or the top of the base if the top of the base formed nice. So you can see right in here, I missed this one. I would have taken that if, if I had it. This would not have stopped me out because I would have given enough room. But I was looking for that to happen again. And then when I crawled back up there again, I considered that a shakeout, but it was not the typical shakeout. It didn't happen all that fast. That's a one minute chart, so it was about three minutes. But normally you see a quick little flurry like these topping tails. So I was a little concerned about it. So I waited until the entry was actually under 12, uh, 1329. So it's was, it was coming on this red bar coming down here. It's, that's pointing to the pivot, but not toward the entry actually was. It was under 1329. It was actually a little secondary sign of weakness inside of the one minute cell setup. You can't see that on this one minute chart though. And then target one even is off the one minute chart. It was down there 1308. So let's back up to the five minute chart, get a little perspective. We can see the whole day, what happened here. Here's the five minute chart. There's where the stock opened the gap up. And right there is the topping tail that became my entry. So you get a little perspective on the five minute chart. You can see twice the stock had tried to move higher and failed. That's one of the indications that you like to see, especially on a gap when you have a bearish bias from the beginning. But this was very volatile that opening hour. I'm quite glad I left it alone. Target one was on that initial drop, which was actually a retest of the low of the day, a safe spot to get some out the door. I got to tell you about target two and target three. Target two made a lot of sense because if you go back and look at a bigger time frame, this is coming down on the minor support area. Makes some sense to take some there. Target three, I botched up a little bit. I, I see a little right where it's pointing is where I end up getting out. I had set the trail on the final third to that other topping tail, got out by a couple cents. And then it had as much of a drop as it had up to the point that I had taken it. Quick little story on this one. As some of you know, I like to trade the morning get safe, make the day's goal, and then have a, a back half, back two thirds, something open that I like to walk away from. And here's a perfect reason why. Sitting there, you never get this to the low of the day. If I were to walk back in the door at three o'clock, which I actually had planned on doing, I was gonna go for a run and then run a couple errands, this would have been a nine hour trade, a real nine hour trade, not like some people make up fictitious numbers, but a real nine hour trade. I ended up getting four hours on the back part of it. And it's because I was sitting there, what happened was it started raining. And because it was raining, I didn't go for a run. 
doing some work at the desk and I walked back and I thought I was a genius because I walked back at the, at the desk right when this is kind of accelerating down right in here. And that was a good target too. You, you have to be smart. You don't know it's going to drop that far. But target three should have been end of the day and I botched that up a little bit. But nevertheless, it was a very nice trade, four hours on the back half and overall just about three hours out the door. This trade, like all the rest, done in the DTS trading room. If you're interested in day trading, even if you have one day free a week, I suggest you come check out the room. It can be a great way to start getting your feet wet and earning extra income by day trading the markets. Until next time, everybody, this is Paul from DTS. Good trading.